we are going to be bleeding power steering system. And to do that, we have the reservoir full, got the everything put back together. We just placed power steering pump, as you probably have seen. And now we're gonna bleed it. Start the car, and what we're gonna do, make sure it's out of gear, and then looks like we might need to add more fluid right off the bat here, because it probably sucked it all down. So, let's go out here, pull off our lovely reservoir cap. Oh yeah, we're dry. Get some more fluid. So we'll pour it in, wait until it actually comes up to a level. There we go. Now it's gonna start bubbling real bad, as you can see there. Just let that suck in. I gotta hold the camera differently. There. So you hear that noise, that's the sound of air in the power steering system. So now, we're gonna go turn the wheel. I got the lift on the ground. Well, the car on the ground, so the wheels, the power steering actually has to do something. Instead of having it in the air and it not doing it. So you get... Just turn it slowly. Doesn't have to be fast. So we'll go to one lock. Don't hammer on the lock either when you get there. There we go. So we just want to... Try and get all the air bled out over there. Leave it over there for a second, check the level. Make sure it's full. It's kind of hard to tell if it's full or if it's just bubbles. So we'll add a smidge of fluid. A lot of bubbles in there. Then we'll go back and do the same thing back and forth until you stop getting bubbles. That's pretty much it, so. Just keep going back and forth slowly until you stop hearing a and uh, you might have to go out and drive it too. Sometimes it might not get all the air completely out of it for a while, so don't freak out if that happens. And uh, it should stop after a little while though. Like a little while being maybe like 10, 15 minutes when you're driving it, as long as the reservoir's full. If it doesn't, then you could be looking at other issues. Or you could be driving a Ford. Fords are known for making this damn noise all the time. So thanks. Hey there. We are resealing this top timing cover. This is the Tiguan that we did the timing chains in. Kept getting leaks, like right there, kind of down the side here, various places like that. The best thing I could find is this seal. We didn't replace this gasket when I did this. I didn't know it was like really a maintenance item, but talking to some other guys that do a lot of these timing chains, uh, they said, yeah, you always want to replace this seal, this gasket right here on this. So I did that and got it all cleaned off. Now we gotta put the engine mount back on and put it all back together and then we'll go test drive it again and pray to God that this is finally the damn seal that fix it, fixes it. So that's just wanted to let you guys know that. So if you ever do a Tiguan timing chain or a two liter turbo timing chain really on any Volkswagen, change that seal. Preferably change there are three seals in here. We got this main one because this is, seems to be the one that's leaking but there's another one in here. And uh, then there's another one on the outside of that which I might end up changing later, but we're just starting with this one. So, good luck. So, you can see right down there that little hole. This hole right there. That is where the brake booster end, where did I put it? That's where this goes. So I'm gonna cut off this plastic and put on this hose, and then we're gonna clamp it back up here to this check valve. So, let's do that. And then we just, Split it, whoa, pull it off and knock over the camera. <laughs> hose. This is 12 millimeter bulk hose. So I'll just put that over there. Let's put the thing like, when you put this on, make sure that you look around down there to see where you have space for this to go because it wouldn't be the first time that I put something on and been like, well, can't put it on because it won't fit with that clamp there. So this one, you have to make sure that you leave this side free because this push is flush with the booster, so. Make it a little easier to get into the hole. Giggity. You guys should know that. There we go. In the hole. In the hole. Now let's put our new clamp around the top. It's right here. That's what it looks like fixed. Ta -da. So, yep, that's what uh, brake booster brake booster line common split common failure 
on pretty much all Volkswagens. What's up? We are finishing up our day and I haven't had a really good day. Stream has done awesome today. And so I wanted to also let you know what we're doing tomorrow. That. I gotta get some of this crap off that my boss laid here, but we're gonna be putting the Subaru back together. Getting it all cleaned up. Putting the motor back together. Putting the heads back together. Getting it all ready to go into the Subaru. So, I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the stream. If not on the stream, I will try and summarize it as best I can. I'll probably do some time lapses to put it back together and stuff like that from the stream. So, you get to get the you'll get to get the gist of it. So, thank you very much for watching. It's been awesome. Stay cool.